Bree's not wearing any pants. I see your butt. Jeez, that was louder than I thought that was gonna be. All right. It's been, it's been almost three weeks at this point. Um, this is the second time I've shot this video in particular. Mainly because I screwed up the last time I had the camera on autofocus. It kept focusing on the screens and I just, I was a blob trying to explain what was going on. So for those of you that don't know, the ad apocalypse has kind of hit full tilt for people like myself and Brie. What I mean by that is we came home from, I actually have no idea where, recently and I found that almost every upload of mine had been marked not suitable for all advertisers. And that panicked me a lot. That infuriated me. It scared me. This is after my revenue just dropping out of the blue because I say curse words and, you know, we have explosions in the Gary's Mod videos. What this did was it screwed me and it lifted a giant weight off of my shoulders. It just sucked coming home to see that almost every single one of my videos was no longer eligible to earn really any money at all, even though they still had ads on them. I don't know if anybody notices this, but when you think of demonetization, the videos aren't running zero ads. There are ads still on the videos, it's just, you know, you might not get an ad every single time you play the video. You might get an ad every 10 times you play it or whatever. Um, so they're not completely adless, for lack of a better term. Now it lifted this weight off of my shoulder because now I don't feel like I have to cater to what I have been for the past couple of years. For the past two, two and a half years, I've been doing the exact same thing over and over and over again, and I'm sure all of you will agree that I've been doing just that. I shouldn't have been, but I have been. You fall into this comfort zone sometimes with YouTube. I found out what was working for me, you know? I gained a pretty large following by doing it, and so I kept thinking to myself, if I just keep doing it for a really long time, I'm gonna see some awesome growth and return on that. And while I did see awesome growth, I was able to start doing it as a job. Um, I very naively and stupidly thought, wow, this is gonna last a long time. When in reality, like I've mentioned this before in probably a dozen videos about not knowing where I should go from this point onward and then going right back into the same thing I was doing before. I, I was supposed to evolve. I was supposed to start trying something a little bit different. And every time I did, try to do something a little bit different, I felt like it was just really not received well at all. I mean, if you go back a little while ago, I had a vlog that I uploaded called The Next Chapter or something like that, and I'm really not, like, looking back on it, it's a pile of garbage and I hate it, and I should probably just remove it because that really wasn't the next chapter. I feel like this moment in time would be the next chapter for me. In falling into that comfort zone of just uploading the same crap all the time, I, I put so much effort and concentration into that that I completely forgot about what I really wanted to do. I forgot about the whole reason I started doing YouTube wasn't because I liked video games. It was because I had an interest in film, in editing, in visual effects work, and in voice acting. I had aspirations to pursue that. I thought, you know, YouTube is a great outlet for that. And then I started getting growth and a rather large following off of playing Gary's Mod and running from memes and shit, and YouTube has made that a, well, it's not a reality anymore. It's not something you can just really do and to make enough money off of unless you're already huge and very widely established. <sighs> Fuck. What I've learned recently is that little dreaded notification you get about a video not being suitable for all advertisers. Luckily, someone of my size can go through and have them manually review it and nine times out of 10, they reapprove it to be suitable for all advertisers. Brie went through and requested a manual review of every single video that had it on there, some 300 videos. At least 10 or 12 of my videos have come back up. So it's not the end all I thought it was in the first place, but it was more than enough of a kick in the pants to make me go, hmm, you know, I do enjoy making this content, screwing around with friends, but maybe there's something more I need to finally start doing. Maybe I need to put a little bit more work and effort into things. Not to say that I didn't put effort or work into my videos in the past, but when you compare what I've been doing to the things I want to do, I mean, crap, I really wasn't. I guess the point of this whole video is I want to start trying something a little bit different. I don't want this channel to be about a game anymore. I want this channel to be about me and the people I enjoy working with. 
I want to go back to the olden days where I was doing readings, I was really using my voice to do things. I want to go back to working with the camera and actually putting things together. I don't want to be in a position like, say, the members of Team Crafted who built everything off of just a game. And then when that game started to become less popular and people started to give less of a crap about it, they all just disappeared. I mean, I guess not completely gone, but you get my point. Using one singular thing to get yourself all the way to your goal usually isn't a sustainable option. This is no longer a Gmod channel. I want it to be about something more. I look at other creators and, while you should never compare yourself to somebody else that's in the same field or in a similar field, sometimes looking at them can give you a little bit of motivation. Because when I started YouTube, like I said, it wasn't about just video games. I didn't want it to be just about video games. I did goofy things back in the day. I'd like to start doing goofy things again. And that's what I'm going to try to do moving forward. It's gonna be a hard road ahead. I'm gonna be demotivated a lot. You'll probably see me bitching and whining on Twitter like I do every day. That will probably never change. <laughs> and when I do video game stuff, because believe me, I still enjoy games and I still wanna do that in the future. While I have been insanely inconsistent on that for years, I've never retained more than like a solid week of being properly scheduled. I still want to do things over on that channel. I still want to use it. I enjoy streaming. I enjoy playing with my friends. It's just, I get really intimidated whenever I lock myself into a schedule and if I have to miss it or I have to miss a day for any reason, I feel like I've let a bunch of people down and I feel awful and then it just demotivates me to ever do it again. But if I just do it whenever I feel like, it's not going to be nearly as big of a deal. I know that in order to grow on platforms, you have to be consistent. You have to let people know what's going on and when. But as far as Twitch is concerned, it's not something I'm making crap tons of money off of. It's not something I'm making anything off of. It's just fun. It's a good way to relieve some stress, hang out with people, get to talk with people, tell them how you're doing, hear how they're doing. That's probably the biggest appeal to Twitch for me. Whereas YouTube has always been the place where I can try to stretch my creative muscle a little bit and do something different, which I am now going to actually start trying to do. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of a dumbass, so we'll see what happens. So yeah, all in all, this video is mainly just an excuse for me to get in front of the camera again, get comfortable being in front of the camera again, let you guys know why I've been gone for the past three weeks, almost a month now, good lord. Say hey, I mean, this content may not be incredibly... Another quick warning, this content may not be done super often because I'm going to be starting full-time work here on Monday. I'm not gonna tell you guys where, just because I think they wouldn't like that. But I will be working a full-time job alongside this, which I'm hoping will give me a lot more motivation because you never realize how much you really, really love something until it kind of gets taken away from you a little bit. And when you're working 40 hours a week, not putting 40 plus hours a week into, you know, your hobby or whatever other job you had before, it, it throws a lot more motivation at you. Can't wait to get home and make a video. You understand. All I wanted to do today was let you guys know that I'm still here. I still want to create content despite YouTube's best efforts to shut us down. And I'm still going to continue. I'm just not going to continue the same way I have for the past couple of years. Well, there you have it, folks. I've completely run out of things to say. It took me longer than it normally does by this point, but eventually it does happen. I still don't know how the hell to properly end a video like this, so what I'm going to do is just walk away mid-sent 